Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to my mod talk. So I'm going to be showing you something really cool today. So this is a guy that basically helps you with Blender. It's from an old, old video for Skyrim just to Blender to Unity, Unity, Unity 3D. I'm slowly but surely like going through this guide and I'm following this other guy I got. Um, it's on Special Edition. Now here's the thing, so you need this version of Pifi, you need this version of Python, and you do not need this version of Blender. However, I recommend downloading this version anyway, and you need this version of the NIF scripts. You can click on it, and it'll, and you work your way through the files. You'll be able to find it. Um, each one of these, on um, you'll be able to find each one of these on their web, on their Pacific web pages. So, so I want to I want to walk you through some stuff because I thought this was really cool. All right. This is a model of the new um, special edition armors. I want to put this in Blender, but I can't because this version does not support that and won't let me do what I want to do. I'm about to show you why. So in this guide, um, in this video, it shows you basically how to convert the armors that you're going to do to Blender. So he walks you through this setup, like the, which I'm about to do here. So in, in the video, he goes, okay, I click on this, I click on this, right, and I click 11, and then I, at the bottom, I go to version 2 point, and you, and you basically go, you go 37, all right? That, that's the version. What you're supposed to do in the, um, is come down here, and if you find light shaders, which is the light, this one right here, you have to delete it. There's just one problem with this one in 2.02, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. Control, delete. It disappears. The model's gone. Like it's it's like it's gone. You cannot do that. So um, you can't use this this one, this this version. No, we'll not save. So what we'll do instead is we'll load it through this version, which is one one point three. We're gonna load that same Daedric armor, but we're gonna do it through the Skyrim old armor set, because you cannot load special editions armors into this one because it, it's not functional. So you need to use old Daedric armor. That's what I'm doing here, so. Yep, it's, see, and you can see it's old Skyrim, Legendary Edition. All right, cool, cool. As you can see, the armor's popped in, right? So you can see the armor here. Now when I do it in this one, I can go 11. I can click 37. And when I go down here to, to kill off the light switches, which is this sun gun right here, draw delete, it's done, we're good. All right, so we're gonna go file. We're gonna go save as, and I'll put it in like I, my my folder for Blender, which has been here, and then I'll save it there. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna, there's no point in it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Blender 2.78. So let me make this clear. I followed this guide. I, I I will leave a link in the description down below where this guide is located and where you can download it. I, I downloaded Python first. I downloaded PV first, I installed Blender, and then I put Blender, I installed, so you go um, Python, PYFFI, to, this is the one version you need, Blender NIF scripts 2.5, you, you, you find it on it, you can find it on GitHub, and then I downloaded this version first. However, I wanted to try something interesting. I thought to myself, maybe I could get the Skyrim um, NIFs into Blender 2.78. So I install this version, and what do you know? I go to imports, and there it is. Bam! Netmersive Gyro Bro NIF. All right. So here's what I'm going to show you. When you first load this thing up, so as a matter of fact, let me click out of here just to show you what I'm talking about. Because you need to follow this. If you're going to follow this guide, you you want to make sure you're doing it right. It's going to load up. Okay. You're going to click this. You're going to delete it. Next, you're going to go to Files, you're going to go to Import, you're going to go down to Immersive. You're going to come over here first. Why? So if I do a scale, this is the scale correction import. If it's a 1.1, I'm going to promise you right now. So I'm going to go for my files, I'm, I'm going to go where I, I, I put my NIFs in, in my folder. Mine's in my Skyrim SSE folder under my Blunder, Blunder models. I'm going to do my prisoner outfit, so prisoner clothes. If you do not put this to a specific number, that, this thing's going to end up being huge. I'm, I'm going to show you first. So we're going to import it, right? Give it a moment, it'll load. It's just going to take a minute. This thing's going to be gigantic. 
you're gonna go, what the heck? And I'll show you, and I'll show you how to fix that. Okay. Oh my God, the, the model's not in, the model's not here. Actually, the model is there. Watch. I'm gonna back out using my mouse wheel. It's right there. The damn thing's huge. All right, let's delete the sun gun. So first off, we're gonna delete it. Yoink, delete, yoink, yoink, delete. Yoink, delete. All right. Scroll back in. Let's go through the process again. All right, now I'm gonna do this. I am going to go over here first before I click on one of these. I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, watch what I'm doing. 0 0.05, enter. This is the perfect ratio where it will not be gigantic. Now you've imported the the NIF. Ready? Watch here. It'll give it a minute to load. Remember, you need old Skyrim version uh, meshes in order to do this with Blender. I have not yet to figure out how to get the um, uh, the new version in yet. Yet I will if if I'm able to figure it out, I will. But for now, you need to you can and you need to bring it in. As you can see, I have officially officially brought in a NIF. Um, to the version 2.78 of Blender. Okay? So I'll see if I can move this around a little bit. We can go ahead, I can show you. Um, a little bit better. Let's move this over here. Okay, let's drop it down a little bit. And we'll go ahead and render it. As you can see, I've rendered it. Um, all right, that's it. It's 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 been rendered. So, if you ever need to adjust the scale, just click N, and you can rescale it up how you want. Um, but we've already done that, so I I, I want to back out, but right now I can't because um, it, it'll end my video. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, this is all I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you that you can bring a model into Blender to 2.78. I don't know if another YouTuber has done it yet or another modeler for um, Skyrim modders, but there there's a way to do it. And like I said, you need. You, literally, I will download the guide. I will leave a link to the guide for this. You download it, you zip it up, and then you literally follow these steps. You install this one first, this one second, this one third, and then you install this one. After you've installed this one, you go into it, you try to load the, the, the model that, into Skyrim Special Edition. I'm, not, I'm sorry, you the old Skyrim Blender into that one, and then what you do is you lo you load this one up 2.78 and then it will basically allow it you this is what you're looking for right here if this pops in that means you've officially been able to get blender to basically import the me the meshes from Skyrim special edition so anyway guys that's all i want to show you I, I thought this was pretty cool i'm actually working on a project now um now that i've got it in the new the new blender i'm going to see if i can then um get this where i want it i'm going to weigh some stuff and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So, actually matter of fact, I'm, let me let me skip I'm going to skip ahead and I'll show you what I'm kind of doing. All right everybody, so what you're seeing here is basically me um basically creating a new type of model in Skyrim and Blender from the old edition um meshes. So, what I'm going to be doing is basically going back to the drawing board for my old mod and I'm going to create it using the old Skyrim creation kit and then I'm going to bring it over to um special edition but what I'm doing is as you can see this is RS children's face head hands and feet and I'm going to be using this model from now on to basically bring in armors and bodies and I'm gonna make sure I get the, the, the correct weight for the hands the head I'm gonna put weight paint on the armor so it doesn't it doesn't um, it doesn't see through and um, I'm gonna basically be making sh like adding Making sure, like you know, the um, they have proper cool clothes. So you'd be seeing kids in Skyrim walking around with um, a prisoner outfit or other outfits with our children's actual um, meshes, and that's basically my goal. You will need our children for this mod I'm making, but I'm looking forward to it because I'm basically going to be creating clothes. I'm gonna tr see, see how much better. Like I'm gonna slowly but surely gonna start working on this to see you know what I can do. Um, like I said, I showed you there's a project I had showed you the other Blender, but I got the new the new 2.7 version in, and like I said, I just kind of it's just a quick little guide to kind of show you what I'm doing. I just figured this was cool, and I figured you guys might enjoy it actually like just checking this out and see what I'm doing. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for for this video. Um, if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share. 
Um, comment below. What do you think? Do you think this is, this is kind of cool? That, that, you know, we're, we're, um, this little mod that I'm working on. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And once again, my name is Tony Willey. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.